Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition on Thanksgiving week. I want to give a shout out and, uh, you know, give a little perspective on what's going on in South Philly this week. It's like the 1990s all over again. You know, you just need Bill Clinton in the White House. I, I wrote this on, on, on my Gangster Report website. You just need Bill Clinton in the White House and grunge music on the sound system. And it's like it's 1995, 1996 all over again. Joey Merlino, Skinny Joey, uh, the reputed mafia Don of Philadelphia who no longer lives in Philadelphia, lives in Florida. He claims he's out of the business altogether. Government claims he's a mob boss. Uh, back in the 90s, when he first blasted onto the scene and came into the public eye, he was famous for holding uh, turkey giveaways and uh, charities during the holiday or charity events during the holidays, bringing Santa Claus uh, for underprivileged kids, giving away food, coats, and whatnot. Got a lot of publicity back in, in uh, 95, 96, 97. It went by the wayside for the last 25 years, but it's back this year. Joey Merlino and his new YouTube podcast uh, known as The Skinny hosted uh, their turkey giveaway. Uh, they had Santa Claus. They had uh, warm winter clothes for, for the underprivileged. Uh, kids got presents. Anybody that wanted a turkey came. Uh, it was held in the Point Bree section of South Philly. Joey was on hand uh, giving out turkeys. So, uh, you know, shout out to, to, to the Merlino camp for, for giving – Given back to the community, you know, it, it's it's interesting. You know, Al Capone started this back in the 20s, trying to uh, build goodwill with the community, with the media, and 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 would run, you know, the Capone sponsored soup kitchens and food giveaways and Christmas charity events, Thanksgiving charity events. And Merlino, uh, who was kind of like a, a Capone like figure in the 90s, picked right up where he left off, but then. You know, this this event had been absent from the South Philly holiday calendar for all of the 2000s, uh, all of the 2010s. And now it's coming back in the 2020s um, as I'm, you know, finishing up this quick hitter. It it should be noted that uh, just like the song, uh, the, the Beatles sing uh, a little help from my friends that that played a role with Joey this past week or this past month as he was been uh, raising money for this through a uh, uh, crowdsourcing app called spot fund uh he's been able to raise about seventy five thousand dollars to give uh, uh to charity for the underprivileged in south philly um and it, it through the spot fund app you can see who donated and what they donated and there were a lot of familiar names for for people that are mob watchers uh, a lot of guys uh in the philly regime uh were, were given donations a couple that uh popped right out uh, joe scoops Lakata. Uh, was one of the guys, the capo over in New Jersey, old school guy. Uh, he gave money. You had money coming from Uncle Joe Legambi, uh, and his two sons. He just put the money under Uncle Joe, uh, Joey Merlino's longtime acting boss and consigliere. Um, you had money that came in in memory of Russell Buffalino. Uh, Joe Pesci in the movie The Irishman looks like his family sent a donation. Uh, there was a donation that was sent from one of Joey's good friends in the five families, uh, the the point man with the Philly, Philadelphia mob with the, the uh, Lucchese's uh, little Joe Perna. He sent some money. You had money coming in from Massachusetts, from some wise guys out there, from Canada. So a lot of people donating to the cause. We just wanted to say we recognize it, wanted to let everybody know what was going on. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. I'm glad that Joey Merlino returned to South Philly, gave away the turkeys, and I'm glad that we had an opportunity to see who was contributing, and there were a lot of names. So if you're interested, go go check out that Spot Fund app. Uh, but it's very interesting. A lot of those guys get very charitable when Joey's asking for that money because Joey's got that, that swagger and, and, and that ability to get people to open their pocketbooks. It's a gift. Uh, happy holidays from the OG pod. I'm Scott Bernstein out.